Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you my small but mighty jewelry collection. I really love the pieces that I own. A lot of them have like nice little stories to them. They're from small ethical and sustainable brands. Um, so I thought I would just walk you through the pieces that I have and kind of show you how I wear them and style them and how they work into my capsule wardrobe and my style in general. So I tried to organize everything by type too, and I actually don't have a very good storage solution for them right now so I did exclude a few pieces that are very tarnished at the moment that I really need to clean and store better but this is about I would say 98% of my jewelry collection right here all of it I store on this little t-bar holds my necklaces and then I just put my rings and um, earrings in the bottom of it if you all have any good jewelry storage solutions I would love to hear what you use too so without further ado let's get into it so I think I'll start off with bracelets because I only have a few of those really. This is the friendship bracelet from Monica Vinader, which is a brand that I really love. This is one of their like classic styles that they do. I don't wear bracelets all that often, partially because I don't like putting them on. I find them really difficult to try to clasp. So this one is really nice because it actually has an adjustable band. So you just slide your wrist through there and then you can adjust it, which I think is really cool because I also have very thin wrists. So it's hard for me to find bracelets that actually fit. And I like that the band part is actually gold too. So I, they do a lot of variations of this style of bracelets, kind of like one of their signature pieces that they do. Um, but some of them, the bands are made out of like a rope material. So this one, I just liked that it was fully gold. And I love the little bar here. This I actually had engraved on the inside. The outside of it, I actually scratched one day. I don't know how that happened, but it did. And I believe I got this like the end of last year, beginning of this year. It was my first um, Monica Vinader piece and I just adore it. The other two bracelets I have are actually both from Ana Luisa. Um, and I work with Ana Luisa a lot and I have quite a few of their pieces now and I just really love the quality of them. I love that they're sustainably made and they're really minimal. The designs are really minimal and wearable for every day. So this one is really cute. I got this in February of this year. It has these little daisy designs on them and some of them I remember the names, um, but if I don't, I'll just link the names down below. And then the second one, I don't remember what this one's called, but it's basically like a twisted chain. Um, and it's one of my only bracelets that is like a thicker gold chain like this, which I really love. I think it makes quite a statement. The next thing I want to talk about are rings. I have become such a fan of like simple gold stacker rings. I think I am super late to the party because you know, they've been pretty popular for a while now, but I really love them now. They add a lot to my outfit and I love like layering them too. It's super fun. So I have three here. These are from an ethical brand called Linaire. This is the Miriam band, which is just a really simple gold stacker ring. And I want to say that these are clear quartz stones, but I'm actually having trouble remembering at the moment. But it has some really small stones in a simple gold stacker ring. And then this one is called the Lily, and it's just a really simple gold stone ring and then this one is another like gold stacker that has a few different sized stones in it also clear quartz yeah and I got these all together too and I just love how they look when they're stacked together it's very subtle um, because the stones are quite small but I think it still adds a nice bit of bling to it and I have three other just plain gold stacker rings and these three are solid gold too whereas most of my jewelry is gold plated so one of them is just a simple gold stacker ring from Missouri and the other two are from a brand called Golden and these two are very thin they're my thinnest rings that I own one of them is a twisted ring and the other one is just like a plain ring and I like wearing these three together too um, to make another like really simple stack so yeah these six rings here have been the ones that I've been wearing a lot lately another ring that I've been wearing a lot at the moment is the thin meteorite ring from a brand called Matthew Calvin this one I like because it is quite textured and it's a little bit thicker than my other stacker rings so I like how it looks um, paired with like the thinner rings and I think it's nice to have some like variety in band thickness and also in texture when it comes to just like really simple gold stacker rings. And then the other three rings that I have are a bit larger and more like statement rings. So I used to only really buy larger statement rings before I got into like stacker rings and like more minimal rings. 
Um, so the first one, this is from Ana Luisa. It's called the Everly Ring. It kind of looks like a wedding band almost. It's just um, a gold plated, like simple gold band. I like it for its thickness, kind of adds a little something something, but it's still really like minimal. And then this one is super fun. It is actually a black and white checkered dome shaped ring from a brand called Relery. This one I can just wear on its own and it just stands out in a really cool way. And then this one is very tarnished at the moment, but I did want to include it. It's from a brand called In God We Trust, and it's actually one of the first pieces of like minimal gold jewelry that I bought. It's a really simple signet ring. I looked for a signet ring for a long time because I really loved the kind of traditional like style of them. Um, and I finally landed on this one because I think it's a really nice size. So I don't know if they still sell these, but um, it's a pretty like popular style of ring now, so I will link some similar if you're looking for that. Next, I'm going to talk about earrings, and I'll start with the ones that I'm wearing because I wear these literally every day, I feel like. Uh, so these are the Ana Luisa Venus hoops. They're a really nice, like small to medium sized hoop. They're very lightweight because they are actually hollow, and I love the really classic shape of them. And I think that they're just large enough to be noticeable, but small enough to, you know, wear every day and to not be like pulling on my ears or anything. I really like how they look, especially with like shorter hair. I like to wear a small-ish hoop every day. And yeah, these are just the perfect pair for me. I think they are probably my most worn earrings. And with earrings, I tend to wear the same style like on a daily basis. I've been doing that you know, for years and years now. And so these are the ones that I've been reaching for the most for the past, I wanna say like year and a half, I think since I got them, I've just been wearing them nonstop. And there are, I would say like, three styles of earrings that I like the most. The first is a statement hoop, which obviously comes in handy having really short hair too. And the other style I wear a lot is a smaller hoop with a little like pendant on it or like a huggy style hoop. I love a little like fun pendant. Um, I think that with earrings it's easy to like have a bit more fun with it and you know pick out fun pendants that sort of represent your personality and then I also tend to wear a stud from time to time. It's a pretty classic earring style and I'm sure everyone has at least one pair in their collection. So the first pair that I want to mention are another like older pair that I've had for a few years now. This was one of my first things that I got from Missouri. Actually the first thing was a necklace that I did not include in this video because it's very tarnished. But these are the crescent hoops and these used to be my everyday hoop earring so it's always about this shape and size for like my everyday earrings and I love the double hoop of them. I think they're quite interesting. They're a bit larger than the ones that I wear now and I just got so much use out of these so I really love these. Another style that I have that are like my statement earrings, I believe they're called the Cuidad hoops from Ana Luisa and they are actually really similar to the ones I'm wearing, just like a larger size. They are quite a bit heavier too though so I tend not to wear these on a regular basis. Um, but I do reach for these when I want more of like a statement. Another statement piece that I have that I actually consider more of like my dressier jewelry, I want to say. Um, they're not that dressy, but they're um, a bit more special to me. These are from a brand called Sky, and they are these really gorgeous like pearl earrings with a little knot and I love like a natural pearl. I just think they're so beautiful. They're very minimal design um, and they're super fun to wear for parties and things. These are kind of like my wedding earrings. And a newer pair of statement earrings that I have are from a brand called Soko and these are super cool. I forgot the name of these earrings. I will link it down in the description box. But these are neat because there's actually multiple ways to wear them. So they have this top portion which you can wear as a cool like abstract um, shaped stud and then they have a little jacket that goes on them that just hangs down like this. So I love the simple design of these but they do make a bit of a statement and I like the unusual shape too. Next up are a pair of huggy hoops that I actually wear quite often too. For a while these were like my go-to everyday hoops before I got these. These are from a brand called Orate New York. Um, and I like the really interesting kind of texture of them. They're very small and lightweight and a huggy is like a hoop that um, just wraps around closely to your earlobe. So yeah, a great everyday 
kind of earring. Next up are a pair of Huggies hoops from Missouri. These are from this collection that they did. They were kind of like a talisman collection. So these actually have little like scarab pendants on them, which I think is really cool. But because of the smaller shape and size of the hoop, um, these are a pair that I reach for quite often and I love the fun little design on them. Another pair of Huggies that I adore are from Ana Luisa too. And these are actually asymmetrical and have a bit of like bling to them too. So they have some stones along the hoop part and then the little pendants are like stone encrusted too and they have a star and a crescent moon so i really like astrology and astronomy and stars and things so i love having this pair of earrings they're kind of like my spacey earrings i really enjoy them the next few pieces i want to mention are from jewels and aces which is actually a brand that makes earring capsules which is such a neat idea to me so um, i have a combination of studs and jackets which are the little pieces that slip onto the studs um, that you can actually wear in the front of your earlobe or behind so i have two studs i have these small rectangular diamond studs and then i have some freshwater pearl studs which are really pretty and small too and then i have two jackets i have these little circles and i also have these little arches which i think are super fun so you can kind of mix and match them and you basically have like six earring combinations and then multiple ways to wear them too so it's a really neat idea and then i have another pair of studs these are also from matthew calvin i believe these are from their meteorite collection and they're a really simple long kind of cylinder shape with a nice little texture on there these are another pair that would be so wonderful if i had multiple piercings so eventually in the future i will probably wear these a lot more as like a second or third piercing and the last studs i have are from anna luisa these are their boa studs they're actually little like snake pendants um, and I just love these. I'm really scared of snakes, but for some reason I love like things that have snake designs on them. So these are really fun and they would also make a great second piercing earring. And now moving on to my favorite type of jewelry, which is necklaces. I wear a lot of them. I like to mix and match them. I like to layer them up. They're almost always gold necklaces, although I do have one silver necklace now. And I have a few styles that I wear most often. So really simple, minimal gold chains. I also like to wear pendant necklaces that are a bit longer. And then I also have a few statement necklaces that are just like larger or more unique designs that I also think look really great when they're layered up together. So I'm going to start with chains because I think that a gold chain necklace is really such a wardrobe staple for me. If we're talking about like accessories that I always swear by, this is definitely one of them. And so I have a few styles here. These came in a set. They're from Ana Luisa and these are the heritage chain necklaces so they're really really simple thin like twisted chains and they're meant to be kind of like a vintage design simple like classic gold chain necklaces but i love these because they have like adjustable lengths and they're really thin so they make great ones for layering up jewelry the second style i have this is a more like pronounced chain this is also from anna luisa i believe it's called the yusuf chain and this one is probably like the thickest kind of more masculine style that I have for a chain so sometimes I feel like this one is a bit strong on me um, but I do really like how it looks paired as like a contrast to more feminine tops like this one it's a really beautiful piece though and then here is one I can never remember the name of this one but it has a really interesting like interlocking design to it it's also from Ana Luisa and it's a thicker gold chain so it does stand out on its own too it looks really nice but also really minimal at the same time and then this last one is from Missouri I believe it's like their thin uh, oh it's a herringbone chain which is a really classic style of a chain necklace and I really like the shorter length of this one too but yeah this is just such a great piece to have so now moving on to pendant necklaces I have quite a few of these because I really love pendant necklaces <laughs> they're probably my favorite type of jewelry to buy the first one I bought um, from Missouri it was the first pendant necklace that I bought and I wrote like a blog post about it. it was one of the first blog posts that I shared it was the Missouri zodiac pendant which I just adore that necklace and it kind of kickstarted my whole obsession with pendant necklaces and that's when it really became an important part of like my personal style 
Um, so yeah, that one I didn't include in this video because it is tarnished at the moment. I really need to clean it so I can use it again, but it's just a really simple like longer um, gold chain with a uh, fairly like mid-sized pendant on it with uh, my zodiac sign. It's actually really similar in size and shape to this one. This one is a newer piece for me and it's from a small brand called Sheena Marshall Jewelry. It's the hazel necklace and I love this one because it has a really interesting um, chain. I want to say it's a curb chain but I feel like it might be called something else actually. And then a really simple kind of like muted or like matte gold finish. Um, just like a simple round pendant and it looks really nice with layered with like shorter chains too. I have just tangled all of these necklaces together. This is a mess. This is why I need better jewelry storage too because this happens more often than I would like to admit. <laughs> the next one I want to mention is actually quite sentimental because it belonged to my grandmother and she wore it all the time and now it belongs to me so it feels very very special. Um, it has this beautiful like twisted gold chain and then the pendant is this really cute design with a little purple stone in it and purple is like my favorite color and I just yeah I adore this necklace and I think that the stone might be like an amethyst I want to say I'm not really sure but I do really love amethyst stones too yeah this is a vintage piece my grandmother's had it and wore it for decades literally and it's just so special to me and I love how it looks and it's something that I will always remember her by. The next piece I want to mention is also a bit sentimental to me and it's actually my only silver necklace. This one has a really simple compass pendant on it and it's from an independent brand called Wild Fawn Jewelry. They're based in the UK and they actually very kindly invited me and my friend Dahlia to be a part of their International Friendship Day campaign which is why Dahlia and I both have matching necklaces and we got to like share our story with them which was really neat. Um, and then a, an ethical fashion blogger who I love too, Alyssa Coase also has this necklace so I feel like that's quite special too and I just love that this piece, although it being new to my collection, has already a really cool story behind it. So that's like what makes jewelry really special to me, it is quite sentimental um, and there's really distinct like memories connected to them too. So. Yeah, I love that. I'm also quite a fan of mixing gold and silver jewelry together. Like, I think it looks really cool. So what are your thoughts on that? I would love to hear it. But I love that I now have a silver piece in my collection because I used to wear silver jewelry all the time. And just in the past few years, as I started like growing my jewelry collection, I've just always gravitated towards gold jewelry. But I would like to kind of mix and match and like introduce more silver jewelry into my collection in the future. The next piece I want to talk about is a pendant necklace from Missouri. And this one has a really beautiful moon pendant which I love. As I mentioned, I am quite a fan of like moon and star themed jewelry and just things in general. And it's quite a long necklace too, so it's a good one for layering. So um, the next piece I want to mention is also from Missouri, and this is a stone pendant. This is a black onyx stone. I believe it might be black tourmaline I'm not sure I don't know much about gemstones but I am quite interested in them and just kind of like energetically how they can help us um, that's something I want to learn more about in the future this one um, when I was reading about the collection it's meant to like really help you focus um, and it's especially good for when you're like working and are trying to accomplish things in your career and stuff like that it's also black so of course it goes with everything that I wear on a regular basis and it's also quite a long chain too so another good one to layer with the next pendant necklace I want to mention is one that I have probably worn more um, consecutive days in a row than like any other piece of jewelry that I have and that is this coin necklace this is from the Missoma London and Lucy Williams collection and it's one of my most favorite pieces of jewelry that I own I've had this for I want to say a couple of years now so I love this like bobble chain that it has um, also the clasp has like an interesting little feature too and I love when jewelry has an interesting clasp because I think it's just a really nice attention to detail and then the 
the pendant itself is quite small it's a little like roman coin and i think i tend to wear this one so much because it is like the perfect medium length it goes well with pretty much everything that i wear it also layers really well it's just a piece that i tend to always reach for so i really love this one and a more recent pendant necklace that i'm sure you all have heard me mention in my recent vlogist videos is from monica vinader as well and it's one of my like all-time favorite pieces already and i haven't even had it for that long but i just wanted to wear it like non-stop so i got their curb chain necklace which is a great like staple really nice quality piece and then i added a couple of pendants on it there's two on here so this one is a pearl pendant which is like this really interesting shape too i don't often see like long skinny pearls like this when i see pearls in jewelry they're usually like very polished and round looking so i liked how this one's a bit different it looks like a piece of coral to me too <laughs> um, and then i also added this moonstone pendant because as you know i am a big fan of gemstones and i love moonstone because while it is like clear and white when you show it in the light it is quite like iridescent and very colorful too so it's just a really interesting stone to me um yeah and i just love how they look on too i think it's quite an interesting combination in some of my recent videos i pair this a lot with my misoma coin necklace and then another chain that i have from anna luisa so yeah it's just a really fun piece and quite summery too now moving on to statement jewelry which i don't have a whole lot of um, and so the first piece I want to mention is this. It is a snake chain from Missouri and I adore it. I know that for some people this is more of like an everyday chain and not really a statement piece, but I don't know. For me, it's more of a statement because it is quite like pronounced when I wear it on. So I tend not to wear it all that often unless I really want it to stand out on its own. But I just love how it looks so much. And when my mom saw this necklace, she was like, oh, I had a piece just like that in the, I want to say like the 80s or 90s. <laughs> so I think that's quite cool. But this is also a great piece if you're trying to make your outfit feel more dressy. Um, yeah, it just it just makes quite a statement in my opinion. The next one I want to mention is one of my favorite newer pieces um, And this is the ellipse necklace from the brand called Soko who I mentioned earlier and I really like um, How this looks paired with even really simple things like if I put this on over like a crew neck t-shirt and jeans It just feels like a full outfit, you know, like more fully thought out but I feel like pieces like this have really helped to kind of round out my jewelry collection and the last piece I want to mention is another statement piece which I actually usually just store in the bag because it's a bit more special of a piece for me um, so here it is this is another piece from sky so half of it is a strand of freshwater pearls and the other half is a thick twisted gold chain it's such an interesting piece to me i love asymmetry in jewelry i think it adds a lot of interest and um, the pearls they feel a bit more dressy to me usually but because it's kind of in this more unique design i feel like it makes them less precious and more of like a statement everyday necklace to wear i tend to wear this more for like special occasions and things but i just think it's super fun and i'd love to kind of uh, layer it up with other pieces of jewelry more simple pieces and see how it looks so uh, there you have it that is all for my jewelry collection and i really hope you all enjoyed seeing this little tour and how i style these different pieces i think that if you have an intentional wardrobe it's important to put some thought into your jewelry collection too really considering each piece that you bring into it so i'd love to hear your thoughts on this video and let me know if you have some of your own favorite small brands or ethical and sustainable jewelry brands make sure to leave those in the comments below i love to learn about new ones and thank you all so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more make sure you hit the bell icon for notifications when i upload new videos every day of august thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow with another video